What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today, we are going to talk about using false color. Let's do it. So a lot of our projects, we shoot using Blackmagic 6K Pro cameras, which is what we're shooting on right now. I shot on a lot of cameras before that did not have false color, and this has become my new best friend. You're my best friend! If you don't know what false color is, basically, the camera overlays colors over the image. Each color is assigned to a luminance value, so you can get a view of the entire picture to see how each part of the image is exposed. This has been huge for me and has become the best tool that I use for getting proper exposure. As you can see, we hit this false color button and now we've got all kinds of colors here. It looks a little bit intimidating at first, but really it's super easy to use. So look over on this side, we've got a graph that shows us exactly what our false colors are telling us. So you can see down on the lower end of the meter, we've got this purple and blue color. So next to the blue, you'll see NBDL, which stands for near black detail loss, which means you're getting close in those shadows to losing all detail. And of course, the lower level in that purple is black detail loss, which means you've got black, but you've got no detail in those shadows. In the green, you've got 18% middle gray. In the pink, you have what's recommended for lighter skin tones. Typically for darker skin tones, Blackmagic recommends in the green range. And then once you get up to orange, yellow, and red, you are looking at near white clipping and white clipping, which means your highlights are losing detail. Now you can see as I change my aperture, you can watch the false color range change when it's too much on the dark side, when I get too high and it's on the lighter side and back to where we had it before. I really wish there were a different color on the outside of this pink because on the lower level, you have a slightly darker gray. Above it, you have a slightly lighter gray. And sometimes they're hard to tell apart. So I have to usually start at the bottom and come up until I notice that pink and maybe a little bit of that gray peek through to know where I'm at for exposure. I like to typically expose my skin tones right on when I start seeing some pink and the highlights on the face. I know some like to expose over, some like to expose a little more under. I'm typically right on and have great luck with that. If you're having trouble finding the false color on your Blackmagic camera, typically it's already set to the first toggle button on top. If it's not set to that, you can go into the menu to those specific three toggles and change any of those buttons that you'd like to false color. So as far as using your exposure meter, a histogram or something similar, false color to me has been above and beyond the rest to really get a good idea of how my image is exposed and to nail it every single time. I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments, subscribe and like this video. We appreciate every single one of you and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.